everybody, it's me again, Moody Boo, and I'm back with another Eight Great Perfumes. And this one is on kind of an odd one for me, White Florals. Now, <clears throat> I'm, I really have to be in the mood for any kind of white floral, except for maybe Frangipani. I really enjoy that one. Of course, it reminds me of Hawaii and anything to do with the Big Island. I'm all up in it. So... Um, <clears throat> but I love frangipani. It's very creamy, um, very thick, sweet kind of a note. But this list is going to have tuberose, uh, jasmine, lily, frangipani, and is that it? Jasmine. Did I say jasmine? I don't think I said jasmine. So tuberose, jasmine, frangipani, lily, and I already forgot. <laughs> I need to play more brain games, apparently. So orange blossom is the one I was forgetting. Um, I'll just start with the tuberose because I've got like three of those. And um, I'm not a big tuberose fan, but in these three perfumes, I really enjoy it. All right, let's get started. So I'm just going to lightly touch on them because I feel like my videos keep getting longer and longer. And most of these will have more in-depth um, review on them in their house review or I've done it at another time. So I'm not going to get too involved at this time. Why am I whispering? I do that. It's a weird thing. But I have a lot of weird things. So the first one I want to talk about is Majda Bakali. And this is Fusion Sacre Claire. This is so pretty. This is just a kind of an earthy coffee tuberose um, fragrance. I, it's absolutely stunning. Um, performance on this is actually really good for me. It's better than the Obscure, the Fusion Sacre Obscure, which is the dark. This is the light. And I think it's because this is heavy in tuberose. Tuberose, to me, I've never really experienced a real light white flower for the most part. For the most part, they are very thick and creamy and heavy and can be cloying at times. So I really have to be in the mood before I pick out a, a white flower to wear. So this is a beauty. I love it. And pretty reasonable in the price. So, all right, next up. So the next one is by Bois 1920, until somebody tells me different, that's what I'm going to call. And this is Sensual Tuberose. And this one surprised me. I got a sample of it um, when I got a different one from this line. I don't remember which one it was. And so, uh, and I really loved it. It was, it was a very coconut tropical kind of a tuberose. Very pretty. Um, there's some other white florals and fruits in there and the dry down is very creamy and moist and like I said very tropical. Um, I think it might be, that's my whole thing with white florals though. I'm always afraid to wear them in warm weather because I feel like they would bloom and become way too much. So I tend to only wear them in, and I don't wear them in the winter time. I don't know why. It's, I just don't. So it's mostly fall and spring where I tend to be in the mood and pick a white floral to wear. And this one, I actually have grabbed more than others, which surprises me. It's tuberose. That's like one of my least favorite notes. But in this, it just reminds me of Hawaii. I know, back to the H word. What am I supposed to say? I'm obsessed. I love the place. I will always love the place. In fact, when I die, take my ashes, scatter them all around there. Wow, that got really heavy there for a second. Next. So the next one is by Parfums de Marly, and this is Sedberry. Now this I got for a really good price. It was a blind buy and it was tuberose. I don't even remember 
what would have possessed me to buy it, but I'm so glad I did. It's a very sweet vanilla benzoin kind of a tuberose, thick, sweet. Um, there's almost a sharpness in there, almost a tartness. I'm not sure from what, but it really adds to the whole perfume experience because the sweetness almost becomes too much. And then just when you think you're kind of over it and it's overwhelming, this slight tartness comes in there and just says, hey, it's all right. You can wear me a little longer. I'm not going to overpower anybody. We're cool. And that's why I love this perfume. Now, I don't reach for it that often because it is very much a very specific mood I have to be in to grab any white floral. But this one in specific because it is a very intense um, and, it, and it's a very niche kind of a smell to me for a white floral, even for a white floral. So there you go. All right, next up. Performance is also crazy on this. Just got to say, it's in, insane. I do one spray of Sudbury and that's it. One. Just one. So the next one I'm going to talk about is from um, Kriegler. And this is English Promenade. You can tell. Eh, kind of use some there. Maybe a bit. I don't know if I'll rebuy it because this is an orange blossom heavy perfume. Now, I do love orange blossom. Always have. But again, out of all, out of most of the white florals, other than frangipani, orange blossom is one that I will reach for um, more often than any other. Uh, it's as long as it isn't the soapy, the real heavy soapy kind of orange blossom. I'm not into that at all. I like the sweet, um, some kind, sometimes citrusy kind of orange blossom, and English Promenade is beautiful, but. In the deep dry down, it does start to get a little soapy, and that does bug me. So I haven't been reaching for it as much as I used to because of that. I, it, if it's too soapy, I just can't. Oh, bleh, 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 bleh. No, thank you. Soap is from soap in the shower, scrubbing my butt. That's fine. Smell soapy that way. But the only person that's going to know my butt smells soapy is going to be my husband. Wow, did I just really TMI there or what? <laughs> um, next up is by Lancome, and that's Jasmine's Marzipan. And I just have some of these little travel sizes. This is a very pretty, almost gourmand kind of a jasmine, and that's why I like it. It's fresh. It's got some freshness in there. <clears throat> it's got a little just a hint of almost muskiness in there adds a little sexy to the jasmine it's not an indolic jasmine to me there's no poo poo smell i don't think oh i just love it and when it dries down you do get a little bit of woods um i think there's some cashmere in, in there or something so when it dries down you do get a little bit of woods in there but <clears throat> for me it stays fairly linear it's just this almost edible jasmine, um, musky kind of a perfume. It's very pretty. Performance is crazy. This is another one sprayer only. I love this perfume. Very pretty. Moving on. So next up is by Salvatore Ferragamo, and this is from the Tuscan Soul line, and this is La Corta. Now this is another one I don't grab too often because jasmine is right there with tuberose. Um, I just don't reach for them often. I have to be in a very specific mood, very specific time of the year before I do. I'm mainly doing this video, video for everybody else because I do know white florals are very popular. Um, I've tried to appreciate them more than I do, and I do. So, you know, it worked. I worked on it, and it worked. But this is just a very pretty ambery. There's uh, some almond in there, almost a bitter, tart, tangy kind of an almond. Um, and in the dry down, you get 
more florals and more um, it gets a little sweeter to be really honest because at the top there's a little bit of, a hint of, of tartness or um, not tartness I wouldn't say it's more of a ah what's what what is word it's not a tartness it's a, a almost a tanginess a, a gourmand tanginess or something that I'm getting in there like from bitter almonds as opposed to a tonka, if that makes sense. Performance on this is very good. So white florals though, they perform really well. You never seem to need a lot of sprays with white florals and it's a beautiful perfume. But again, I gotta be in a specific mood to grab it. So next up. The next one is another one that really surprised me. I smelled it in a magazine, if you can believe it and I went crazy over it. So I bought a bottle and that is Armani Privé Vert Malachite. So Vert Malachite for me is lily and jasmine and there might be some more white florals. It's really a cornucopia of white florals but you really can pick out the lily. But it's just elevated by the other notes. There is some ylang ylang in there and I think there's some fruits like some citruses in there. But it's all about this sweet, there's some slight tartness, some slight warmth from some benzoin or resins or balsams or something in there when it dries down. It, it really is a sweet white floral balm at the very beginning, but there is a little bit of movement in it in the dry down, and that's my favorite part of it is about the last <laughs> 10 hours because this thing lasts like 12 <laughs> on me anyway. So um, again, another one sprayer. This one really performs. And this bottle, what? And I love malachite. That's one of the stones that I just adore. It's supposed to be healing or calming or healing or soothing. Or... It does something to you. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a, a crystal stone, you know kind of a person so I'm not sure what it does but somebody gave me once a, a malachite and I always carried it around because I liked it I think it's pretty so anyway all right next up and the last one is I'm gonna butcher the name Shankai by Shankai I think that's how you pronounce it and this is Frangipani and you can tell I have used this just a little bit I love this perfume. It's vanilla and ylang ylang, and I love ylang ylang too, uh, for the most part. Um, not as the top, you know, as the dominant note, but as definitely a, a supporting actor. I love ylang ylang. And this is fruity, and when it dries down, you get some amber and some musk, and there's a little citrus in there. It is not nearly as thick and heavy as the others on this list. I don't think that's because of frangipani because that is a, is definitely a thick, sweet, white floral. Um, but I think it's because of the other notes that have been added to the perfume that balance it so well that it never gets to the cloying. It never gets to the too thick, heavy, dense, um, you know, almost chewable kind of a, a white floral. I almost stuck this on my nose. <laughs> yeah, don't do that at home. But it's so pretty. It's the most wearable of all of the white florals. As you can tell, I have worn it quite a bit. And I love it. Performance isn't quite as good as the others, but it's still great. It's like eight hours, arm's length, sillage, or projection. It's wonderful stuff. So... Anyway, that's just uh, eight great perfumes on white florals. And this tells you something too, because I don't like white florals for the most part. So if I love these perfumes, then, you know, really that doesn't tell you anything at all, does it? So, all right, everybody, I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.